Okay, I haven't made a video in a while. Mm. Oh, so I wrote this on the 4th of June. Should I should I make art? Oh, should I make my life be a work of art through the choices I make? Hmm. Is this a way for me to escape from reality? Or is this a way for me to feel like I'm in control? The idea of making choices. I think this is an important thing. Well, seems like it, I don't know. I don't know the 9th of June. I think we are created by spiritual beings who are more intelligent than us, more conscious than us, and who understand things we are incapable of grasping. Uh, in this respect, humanity is kind of uh, alone. Well, I don't know. <laughs> um, oh, what, what do I mean by that? Uh, or maybe we have some uh, allies. Or maybe, oh, I guess I'm saying like uh, how humanity is not like these beings I or maybe we have some allies amongst these beings and perhaps other more corporeal entities like us. Uh, I guess the question poses itself, do you care? Do you care about your fellow human? If we humans are alone and are at the mercy of these other forces, more powerful beings, how are we to cope with this? Do we not need help? I have to ask myself the question, do you not care about anyone? If I do not care about another, what reason is there for me to live? What hope do I have? I think we need to care about each other, else we are lost. Lost in this vast universe, this unknowable universe. I think humans have the ability to care. Maybe some of these beings do also. And perhaps this is how alliances are formed or broken or mangled in many ways. We humans are not at the top of the totem pole. I think a lot of humans who think they are at the top will have a hard time dealing with this. <sighs> Let me just write something else. I've had some time to think about this. Um, we are not alone. Oh, stop. Yes, there is a, a plethora of evidence. Uh, a multitude of evidence going back for you know from people's experiences this is a good uh, website where you can uh, uh, let me just share this website uh, but this uh, where, yeah, this person shares a lot of um, ET encounters like with humanoid aliens and UFOs. So there is a plethora of evidence, There's an abundance of evidence. Um, so the way I see it, I see it like, you know, you know, the, the Bible is like a story of ETs or these spiritual beings or these interdimensional beings. I'm not sure, like UAPs, UFOs, UAPs exist. They are real. Uh, they are real in the physical sense and also in a uh, phenomenological <laughs> as a sense. 
or there are spiritual sins. There are phenomena. It's not just craft and bodies. There is also seems to be some kind of a uh, uh, some kind of a relationship with um, reality. Like reality is is not just physical matter. It's not even like look look. I have a body. My body is 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 physical. What I call physical, my body is physical. But I also I exist. I exist in another dimension of reality that's not physical. And I think there are aspects to reality, and and like, for instance, here is a, a really interesting video where this these two people they see this this object. This it's like it's like a. UFO seen over the lake. It's not, I don't know what you call it. If it's an object or some kind of a thing, it's, it, it feels like humans are like little people on a planet and then there's this being existing in another dimension and they're poking into our reality and when they manifest in our reality, this it looks like this huge object. Uh, and so... I guess what I'm saying is reality is like like it's we are all interconnected to other beings who look like us and there are things about the universe uh things that we cannot see you know it's like I guess when I say we are not alone we're not we are, we're not alone not in it's not just that we're not alone in the sense of aliens, but I think we're not alone in the sense that there's a relationship. There is a relationship with... We are not alone. Uh, not only in the sense of aliens or UFOs, but we are not alone in the sense of relationships. We are in relationship with the universe, God, Creator, Source, uh, synchronicities i don't know this idea that things all happen for a reason uh, I know. synchronicities uh it's like we're all connected to each other we are connected to other beings we're connected to the universe it's like one whole interconnected system um so yeah you know there are actual beings there are ufos there are they, i think there are other life forms like us on this planet and we might be the product of genetic engineering and i think the uh the governments of this world i think i think the aliens are <laughs> like in control they've always been in control I think I don't think I don't think they really went away. Maybe, maybe there's like constant fighting with various groups over this planet, but I think the aliens, oh, I guess you call them Elohim, you know, the Watchers. <laughs> this is another interesting video about the. You are here to observe you, the Watchers. Uh, another, uh, you know. Uh, this UAP uh, are watching over us. This idea of them, be the, this idea of the like like an Enoch, what's that book of the, the Watchers? This, uh, the, I think they've been around for a very long time. I think the way I'm seeing it is like the, these beings, they are watching us, and like, but they tr they tr leave us alone for the most part. The humans and the human governments regulate human affairs 
but they r regulate the planet affairs so they might you know stop asteroids or you know, they might do stuff like that to take care of the planet but as far as humans are concerned i think there is some kind of a, a system or some kind of rules laws put in place and i think some some of our government people are aware of this so everyone has their own territory and their own like rules you know rules based order this might be a a, a a meta rules where it applies to the whole planet where the, the the these beings have communicated with the human government and said okay you can do this we're gonna go we're not gonna interfere in your affairs you, you try and manage it but we might intervene in certain cases because we have to manage the planet and we, you know i think there are there might be other life forms and things like that so <sighs> anyway yeah so going back to yeah yes humans are dealing with human affairs and then these nhi are dealing with nhi affairs i think they're like I think they leave us alone for the most part, but I think you do get visitors. Like maybe, maybe they're in order to visit planet Earth. Maybe the if if let's say it's some ETs from another star system, they visit planet Earth. Maybe they have to get a permit, <laughs> and they have to get a permit from the NHI, the aliens who manage the planet, and that the permit says you cannot interact with humans. You must stay away. You shouldn't allow them to. Uh, photograph you they shouldn't know that you exist you know if you want to visit visit but don't interact with them maybe there are rules like that you know it's like a, you, you go to a planet you have to like uh, get a visitor's permit <laughs> and um, yeah I, th I think that's it they, there might be something like that uh, uh, here's another one about uh, you know bigfoot sasquatch i mean i think this is another thing where this is a recurring theme of the people talking about the same thing and i found this video quite uh, uh interesting uh sasquatch yeah this is this is this guy talks about Sasquatch. very interesting telepathy this is another thing a lot of these i think humans have um I think our ancestors before the flood, uh, I think so. I think there was an the, our ancestors had the capacity to do telepathy. I think this idea of telepathy is such a common phenomenon, and uh, um, some of these aliens who come and interact with humans, they can control our physiological responses, so they can make us freeze, they can make us stop, you know. They can control us and they can they can read our minds and i think in the past our ancestors had this capacity um this is my speculation but you know we, can, we have all this junk dna and i think in the past they realized that by giving us this capacity um and and then be and then then because humans are emotionally immature <laughs> And you give them with this capacity. You, uh, there are so many ways to look at it. Maybe maybe our ancestors had, ancestors had this capacity, and they could operate weapons and things like that, and that created uh, the destruction of the world, and that's what uh, created a great reset. Um, uh, or it could be that you see one of the way humans, I believe, have a disadvantage is that we cannot read other people's minds so other people can lie to us and we won't be able to figure it out you know we communicate using yeah, body language and 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 and, uh, and you know words and things like that but this is not an effective way of communicating if you can read someone's mind they cannot lie to you and if, if someone cannot lie to you, they can't take advantage of you. And because we cannot read people's minds, and because I think these NHI can read our minds, and they can, they can maybe even implant uh, images into us, 
they can manipulate us and this makes humans very vulnerable and i think i think maybe this is this is some kind of a dark secret you know our our governments manipulate us by lying to us uh but i think more a more profound way to manipulate you is by actually preventing you from being able to read other people's minds on a you can't tell if someone is lying to you if, if being this is puts you in a huge disadvantage and if someone else has the power to read your mind they have power over you you know like and and and, and if they can implant thoughts into your head they can control your perception and they can by doing that they can they can really control your actions your behavior and i think this telepathy is a, is a very common theme uh, here I don't, you know, anyway, some thoughts on this. Yes, we're not alone. And I want to know, yes, UFOs are real, UAPs are real. What are they? What is our true history? What is our relationship to the universe? What is going on? I want to know what is going on. I want, I want to know the truth, you know. Um, yeah. 